Listen. I just need you to realize something. Nebula is just the beginning. Someone else is going to get hurt. Or worse. I've been ambushed before. But this time, I see the danger coming right for us. I won't let that happen. I know you mean that, Peter. I do. But I can't have another death on my conscience. I can't be responsible for my own family, let alone the whole galaxy. Once we get off this planet, I'm going to leave the Guardians. What? Gamora. If I'm alone, the only one who could get hurt is me. We did great things together, but the team's fractured. Oh, you'd stay for me, right? If you leave, I'm the one that gets hurt. Am I reason enough? What do... What do you mean by that? What are you trying to say to me, Peter? Shoot or shoot! Think between us. <laughs> you know how much I care about you. <sighs> Peter... I know you feel the same way. <sighs> Caring only makes it worse. She got cakes. Here we are. Let's do it, girl. Together, we conquer. Two, three. Again. One, two, three. Last One time. more time. One, two, three. That should do it. Okay. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's go, group. Oh, man. How did you even get over there? <laughs> He's on the other oh, side. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Peter, wait. This is a little sketchy. What you said about staying for you. You're right. But I'm trusting you to protect all of us. That's my girl. Keeping the squad together, trying our best. Who knows what Rocket's gonna feel like once we meet back up with him. He's gonna be especially pissed that we left him, but... It's alright, man. See a thing in here. More of those rock worms. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> Use LS to sneak. Worms get too bright, they'll wake up. This is sketchy, dude. Just gonna keep it moving super slow. Maybe a little bit faster. Are they getting brighter? If we stop, that doesn't change their color. Okay, we're good. Oh, that's Bowie, isn't it? Oh no, he's just sleeping. I was gonna say, that's Bowie, he's gonna get us out of here. That was close. 
We almost... What's that smell? Kamora, shh, oh, keep it quiet. It's horrible. Did something die down here? It was just a little scare for me. Okay, no big deal. Get over it. No, I'm getting away from it. Can we just keep moving, please? The end of the tunnel's just up ahead. Anything to get away from that smell. Oh man, look at that. Now it's actually working. If we go too fast, they start to light up, but if we slow down, they'll turn off. Okay. So we'll just, we'll keep it slow. I don't want to risk anything. I miss Bowie though. I know Bowie would have our back. This is so creepy, dude. Guys are not friendly, and there's more of them in this giant cave up ahead. Oh, rocket! And Mantis and Drax. Rocket. Talk to it or pull it open. Hey, Rocket. Wake up. I asked for to go container. <laughs> okay, okay. We're gonna get you out of here. Oh, man. Open Rocket's cocoon slowly, not to wake the worm. So I guess they didn't want to eat him. They wanted to like hold him prisoner or something? Or maybe oh, they are yeah. just... Crap. Saucing him up, getting him ready to eat or what? Uh, uh, I feel like I just boozed for a week then took a header into Drax's fist. What happened? How'd you end up in... The... What, in a giant alien lunch sack? Never would have happened if you'd come with me. You shouldn't have left in the first place, you idiot. It's nobody's fault but your own. You threw a hissy Everyone bit. stay quiet. I'll get tracks. Wakey, wakey, big guy. Time to get up before the worms do. <laughs> All right, let's get him open. What is this gunk they've got all over him? It's kind of disgusting. Uh, oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Missed you too, man. Okay, Drax. That's enough awkward hugging for today. <laughs> Seriously, Drax, get off me. I will help you. No, no, not you, Mantis. No. So Drax is in a trance or something. Uh oh. Something small. Still fresh. Must be close. So we're hunting something? There's 
Ya te... ¡Uh! ¡Wow! Surrender now, villain. Oh, is this our son? <laughs> or daughter? I got you, Papa. You should have seen your face. Those tracks you left for me, Kamaria. They were a clever decoy. You taught me well. <laughs> But you didn't remember your own teachings. You have now completed the test of guile and diversion. These skills will serve you well on the warrior's path, where every child... Must leave their home and make the perilous journey to the training grounds. Take it seriously, Kamaria. I say it out of love, daughter. This path, it is not to be taken lightly. If... If I was scared... That would be all right, wouldn't it? Not that I am. It's just that... I mean... It is normal to feel scared. It is? Yes. So use it to make yourself more focused and less reckless in battle. I must admit... I do feel a little scared, but I will be stronger for it. She's cute. We don't have long. Before you leave, I promised you. The tattoo! I am ready, Papa. <laughs> I know you are. Your first tattoo marks you as a warrior in training. You will add many as your journey continues. Oh gosh. Daughter, it will not take long. This looks a little sketchy. A blade tied to a piece of wood? Oh. Mount Kylos. Your mother and I had our soul union there. I don't ever want a soul union. Never. Ever. I will become a great warrior on my own. I'm not like the other scouts. Talking as if they're already warriors. Standing with others makes you stronger. There is much you can gain by having someone at your side. Like you and Mama. Yes. She is much tougher than you. doing very well. I remember my first and how much it hurt. Papa, there's so little time and sometimes I feel like there's still so much to ask you. What is it you wish to know? What if... What if I face an opponent who cannot be beaten? I am strong, but I am small. I fear that my skills will not be enough when the time comes. You already know this answer. Never surrender. It is our way. Yes. If I fall, it will be with my sword in hand. And what if... <clears throat> what will you do if I return more powerful than even you? My legend spreading across the valleys. My foes quivering in fear. And I will be more proud than my simple words can express. It is done. It is awesome. I mean, that looks pretty cool. There is one last test you must pass before you can leave. Conquering the unknown. It's too far. I, I can't see what's down there. You must jump. Unless you wish to wait another year. No! I'm ready! Like you said, it's normal to feel scared. I... I can't do it. You have to help me, Papa. Wait! 
Push her off or pull her back. See ya! <laughs> Tough love is the best kind of love. Just, just push my daughter off a mountain, no big deal. She'll come up stronger. Training grounds. I'm gonna miss you, Papa. There is no reason to. Look at your tattoo and know I am always with you. I will. Papa, I must go now. You have to let me go sometime. You can't hold on to me forever. <sighs> Goodbye, Kamaria. Goodbye, Papa. I had no clue that he had a daughter. So this this is weird. I don't know if this is setting up for like the next season or something. It's kind of an odd little like thing, but that's why he was hugging Peter so hard, and now he's awake. I never should have let her go. Maybe, maybe then she would still be alive. Oh, she's not alive? Drax, I... Hey, that's real sad and all, but we can feel some muscle over here! Oh, good lord. Here we go again. Let's get to work, boys. Got all sentimental there for a second, but now it's time to get back in the action. Or not. Uh, never mind. We're good. There must be like a king. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? This is where we run. It's the the king worm, the queen worm. Something like that. What's up, Mantis? Why are you stopping? I'm sorry I used my powers on you before. I didn't mean to. That's okay. It wasn't intentional. I was only trying to pull him off you. What are you talking about? You got us out of there. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be getting squeezed to death by Drax. Oh, you're right. I was the hero. Let's get going, girl. Come on. It's a giant queen rockworm thing coming after us. Girl. Gotta save Rocket. I'm trying! I ain't got no stick legs like the rest of you! Everyone take a seat, we're leaving! Did any of you get a good look at that thing? <laughs> what was that even? I am you. It's giant and terrifying and probably wants us dead. I don't need to know any more about it. In this case, I'll say your extreme lack of curiosity is a virtue, Will. Nebula's plugged into the ship. She's stable. Okay, then we're good to go. All right, the squad's back together, and we're on our way out of here. This is uh, I feel something. the best news we've had in a while. Someone is starving. No, bigger. My hunger has no equal. Ah, once we're out of here, we'll get you some food. That is one big Bowie. I am Groot. Wrong again, Groot. We're all gonna die. Punch it, Pete! Let's go! Woo! Everyone, hold on! I'm pretty sure we just got eaten. Are we dead? Uh, not quite. We're lunch or dinner. 
What time is it? In this slimy cave. It is... A big old stomach. Nebula. Look at I... What the hell is she doing? Mora, wait! Dude. We just go into like hyperdrive and just bust our way out of there or what? Plug her back in, Peter. No. Stop. Please. If your systems shut down, we can power them through the ship. It won't do anything. Stop being so stubborn. It can help keep you alive. I don't like being tethered. No. I'm past that point. Don't be stupid. Please. Don't make me beg. It's okay, Gamora. Let's leave her be. Pick it back up. She'll let me have this. Thanks, Quill. Well, I'm not ready to give up on you. Ultimately, it's her choice. Going to get Rocket. I do feel bad, but there's no use. It can't be put back together this time. <laughs> It feels good to have parts of me despair. Wish I could have done this whenever I wanted. Maybe then I could have slept. Thank you for helping us back there. You risked yourself for all of us. And look where it got me. At least Gamora's okay. It was my idea to put all this in my body. Told everyone it was so I could be better than Gamora. Why did you really do it? To be more like her. Aww. I looked up to her. I was terrible to her. I nearly killed her. I loved her. You don't have to. She already knows. Really? It doesn't matter. It's too late for Gabor and me. I'm a living reminder of her time with Thanos. She can't move on until that last, that last piece of him is gone. Things, Things will be better soon. For everyone. No. The world would definitely not be better without you. You're the only person who Drax is afraid of. I mean, someone's got to keep him in check. <laughs> that, that does make me feel better. Thank you, Peter, for listening to this. <laughs> Whatever it is. See what you can do, Rocket. Hey. Hey. Do, uh, do you want me to? I don't know people <laughs> trying to fix me. I, uh, yeah, I get that. There's something I need to tell you, sister. What is it? I... Come on, get it out.
That's sad, man. I honestly feel like very, very sad right now. Like I'm kind of heavy behind the eyes. Oh, that sucks. I can sense your despair, Peter. Everyone's really. Is Nebula still? I don't need to pile it on, but I got Sorry. some bad news too. Our engines got thrashed when we were swallowed. Can we still fly this thing? Not a friggin' chance. Okay. Let's get back to work. I'm not gonna pressure her about it and make her dwell. We're just gonna get right back to work. In the end, she was one of us. A guardian. I think she liked it. Being part of something good for once. Nebula was the fiercest, most sinister opponent I have faced in battle. What I liked most about Neb was how much she hated Pete. <laughs> like in a deep, unrelenting way. Funny girl. I am Groot. Oh yeah, and she really seemed to care about you, Gamor. You should value the connection you two shared. To be alone is a worse fate. Speaking of worse fates, we gotta figure a way out of here before we end up like those poor bastards. Those poor bastards. Exactly! Huh? What? Look at all those ships. There has to be some parts we can salvage out there. You forget about that internal ocean of stomach acid. You can't just take a little swim. Then get me flying again. I'll see what I can do. I mean... I sure ain't dumb enough to go out there. Well, we may have a way out. We're gonna have to fly around, get a bunch of uh, parts for the ship, get our engines working, and then hopefully we can GTFO. All right, let's find some engines. That'll do. Listen, I've been running the numbers. We gotta drop weight in order to take off. Drop weight? How exactly do we do that? Yeah, take everything that ain't bolted down and give it the old Chucky Chuck. <laughs> the lighter we are, the longer we float. The easier it'll be to get airborne. <laughs> well, this place is a flying trash can anyway, so... Hey, speak for your own stuff. I got some nice things. Guns can be nice. Come on. Well, I didn't burst into flames. So time for round two. As long as I don't overwork the jets, I should be able to avoid the acid. I so this is like the floor is lava. We gotta move from point to point. How do we use our jets? Oh, up. Whew. Gotta go. Okay. Stay in the ground to let your boots recharge. Then we're gonna head over here. Ideas on how to move these engines, my boots won't be able to. It's an engine, Pete. Just turn it on. Fair enough. Good. 
A giant red button. This always ends well. Just had to put in some elbow grease. Sounds gross now that I think about it. Okay, that didn't well, seem like a very good idea. My best out here. Oh no. <gasps> Great. Oh, just a little burp, no big deal. Stomach. 